Hello drummers and other creatures. It's an Afrobeat video today. We're gonna to be taking a look at Zombie by Fela Kuti with a drum groove provided by the wonderful Tony Allen, someone of whom I am a great, great fan and whose drumming I'm, I'm trying to learn how to get something of a, a grasp of. Uh, and this is a really good entry level groove for Tony Allen's drumming. Uh, I've done a series of videos covering some of the technical stuff you need to be able to do to be able to play Afrobeat and um, I thought it'd be a good idea to maybe make a series of videos specifically showing some of the individual beats Tony Allen plays for some songs. I'm also going to um, cover some other Afrobeat related topics because I don't know why not why not niche down as they say but today zombie and it's, here's how it sounds and then I'll explain my approach to playing it. This is what, what I'm hearing anyway. There we go. Something a bit like that. Now, the essence of this, for me anyway, is the bass drum pattern. And we've got a pattern that sounds like this. Okay, so we've got the bass on the, the one, the E of the two, the three, and the E of the four. Um, If we add the hi-hat to that, we get this. I'll, I'll slow it down a little bit. So make yourself really comfortable with that. And to be honest, you could almost play the song using just that, but you know, what's the, the, the other hand gonna do if we take that approach? So if you really feel like it, play along to zombie right hand and right foot or whichever hand you like, um, just the hi-hat and the bass, then add the snare. The first snare drum stroke we're gonna add is on the end of the two, right? Uh, and again, this kind of almost gets you there. Next, we've got another snare on the art of the free, and that gives us that little funky feeling, a snare drum in between the hi-hat notes, syncopated and cool. Last but not least, almost last and almost not least, we have an, another snare on the 4E, which coincides with the bass drum note. And this, this is where the thing gets a bit wobbly sometimes if you're not careful. Um, when I was first learning how to play this groove, uh, I found that my, my brain would just decide to avoid having the left hand right foot combination there. And my right foot would fall on the, um, the end of the four instead of the E of the four with the snare drum note. And so, uh, and sometimes I would play and not even notice that I'd kind of displaced that snare drum. So be aware of that and try and make sure you can play this without flamming. Okay, let's try it.
Once you've got that all lined up, try and playing that a little bit faster. Diddly did 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 Zombie, oh zombie. Is it sounding okay? Stick the track on and, and play along and see if it grooves. Now, you could, you could rest there. You could say, cool, I can play the groove for Zombie and uh, go away and feel happy with that. You, you're fine. But when I'm listening to the track, and you know, from, from what I know about Tony Allen's drumming and what I've learned so far, is that there's very often a, a bit of extra hi-hat coming in with a, a sort of foot pattern that, that kind of goes underneath the hand pattern, really. And I'm pretty sure that either he's doing this or the, the percussion in the track adds up to this, but on the, um, the two and the four, we've got an open hi-hat happening along with the, the stick stroke. So we'd have... Now, the trick with this is to open and close the hi-hat in such a way as we don't actually elicit a kind of hi-hat, pea soup, open bark thingy sound, whatever you want to call it, the, the splooshy sound. Uh, and when I just do that as eighth notes, I can get that to sound quite smooth, but coordinating that with the, all the snare drum business, I don't know, I haven't quite mastered it yet, but I think it's worth trying to get the hang of. When I play slowly, uh, I can get it to work quite well. So here's what I mean, so we're going, I feel like that needs to be there. Now, when I try and do it at the speed of the song, diddly did 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 I can't reliably get the sound to be right, but go ahead and, and add that in there and see how you get on with it. If, if you can nail that, let me know. What, what do you think, what's happening with the coordination there? As far as I can work it out, there's, there's something happening maybe in the way my balance is affected by uh, the whole 40 Anna bit. The end of the bar, because there's a lot going on, I think the timing of the, the open hi-hat, I'm not quite getting it right because the, well, both my feet are moving so on. I don't know, I'm not sure what's happening. But that's the groove, that's it, zombie. And I think that makes this a nice short video. So go away and learn this, and I'm gonna produce some more videos with the specifics of Afrobeat grooves. Let me know what you think about this. Did this help you to learn this? Is this whetting your appetite for more Afrobeat? Do you want to learn some more Tony Allen and other sundry Afrobeat thingy bobs? Let me know, put a comment in the comments section. Tell me if you like this or not. I'm going to uh, maybe include a PDF uh, with, you know, or I don't know, some sort of transcript of the, the groove, transcription, and uh, that's it. Thumbs up, all that good stuff. See you later, go and play your drums.